hello everyone very welcome to the channel we are continuing our marathon coverage of llama 3.2 models we already have covered the text model in this series llama 3.2 1 billion and 3 billion and also the 11 billion model in the vision series in this video i am going to cover the llama 3.2 90 billion vision model which is the latest and greatest model of this amazing series we won't be able to install it locally because of its multi gpu requirements but i believe the best way of using these sort of bigger model is through hosted cloud and for that i am going to use fireworks the two largest models of this llama 3.2 collection 11 billion and 90 billion support image reasoning use cases such as document level understanding including charts and graphs captioning of images and visual grounding tasks such as directionally pinpointing objects and images based on natural language descriptions for example a person could ask a question about which month in the previous year their small business had the best sales and llama 3.2 can then reason based on an available graph and quickly provide the answer so for example if you have multimedia documents in your organization which you want to chat with i believe llama 3.2 90 billion hosted version is the best open source option at the moment in another example this model could reason with a map and help answer questions such as when a hike might become steeper or the distance of the particular trail marked on the map both 11 billion and 90 billion models can also bridge the gap between vision and language by extracting details from an image understanding the scene and then crafting a sentence or two that could be used as an image caption to help tell the story. Whereas the other lightweight 1 billion and 3 billion model are highly capable with multilingual text generation and tool calling abilities which we already have seen in our previous videos. Now, there are very interesting benchmarking information which i already have shared in other videos earlier but if you look at it this is actually quite impressive for example these vision models if you look at the scores of this llama 3.2 90 billion which we are going to cover in this video look at mmmu look at this um, this is all multimedia pro and vision and all that stuff so if you look at for example 60.3 is the score on mmmu Whereas the Cloud 3 Hyco is just 50, whereas it has even beat, beaten GPT 4 O Mini, which is not a small feat, I, I can tell you. So these evaluation, all of these, if I just scroll through, they all suggest that the Llama 3.2 Vision models are competitive with the leading foundation models, which I just mentioned, on image recognition and a range of visual understanding tasks as you can see on the left hand side in second column <clears throat> this uh, also for this one they have evaluated performance on benchmarks for image understanding and visual reasoning and almost in all of these these vision models have beaten the rest of the lot by a wide margin now as the first Llama models to support vision tasks, they, the 11 billion and 90 billion models required an entirely new model architecture that supports image reasoning. And it is quite interesting to learn that too. For example, to add image input support, they trained a set of adapter weights that integrated with the pre-trained image encoder into the pre-trained language model. The adapter consisted of a series of cross attention layers that feed image encoder representations into the language model. They trained the <clears throat> adapter on text image pairs to align the image representation with the language representations. During adapter training, they also updated the parameters of the image encoder, but intentionally did not update the language model parameter. By doing that, the, we kept, they kept all the text-only capabilities intact, providing developers a drop-in replacement for Llama 3.1 model. And then if you go through this uh, blog post, you will see a lot of other information around their training pipelines, which I'm not going to go into this one, but 
i already have discussed it in my other videos especially if you go through um, and just search with it this enters lama 3.2 read through it you won't be disappointed okay so enough talk let me take you to the hosted service which i was referring to which is this fireworks.ai and you can run uh, hosted models here you can do a lot of stuff the best thing is that once you log in there with your free email account you get 50 dollar per month credit which i already have and you can just go to your user account and check out your credits too so you see that the first time you log in there are no models let me make it a bit bigger so you can just even uh, click on this browse the publicly available models and you will be presented with a lot of models so you see we have this llama 3.2 already mentioned here and once you click on that try it now you will be presented with this screen where you can test out this llama 3.2 90 billion vision instruct model and you can also set some of the parameters on the right hand side like temperature which determines the randomness of the response of the model how many tokens you wanted to generate and then the output probabilities from top p and top k and then few others which you can just set them to default and start chatting with it so from here all you need to do <clears throat> on the left hand side at the bottom you can upload your image and then you can start chatting with it so let me upload an image here so I have just uploaded an image of a traffic jam and I am asking it what are the traffic conditions in this image. So let me press enter here. Let's wait for it. Okay, it says I'm not comfortable with this topic subject. I'm not I'm not sure why. Okay, let's try out another one. That was interesting and I will be very transparent. I will show you all is. Um, okay, so let's try out a simple one. Describe the image. Let's see. Okay, only one image per request is supported. What does that mean? Okay, so I'm just going to refresh it then. So after the refresh, as you can see that once I gave it this image, it is telling me that the image depicts a brown bear standing in a shallow water. That is, and that is really attracts me about this model that it goes into way more great detail. Let me make it slightly larger so that you'd be able to read the text okay now it's better and it is saying it is it's fur wet and matted the beer's mouth is open revealing its teeth and it, it appears to be looking directly at the camera the beer's body is facing the right side of the image with its head turned towards the viewer in the background there are rocks and grasses available visible suggesting that the beer is in a natural habitat the beer exudes a sense of strength and dominance over its surroundings. So you see the quality of the image. Okay, that is good. Now let me try to give it a quite a hard one. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give it the map of this Blue Mountains. The so Blue Mountains is just outside of Sydney, where I'm based in Australia. And these are one of the heritage world heritage sites. The Blue Mountains, extremely beautiful. So on the right hand side is the Sydney and this is Penrith is one of the outer consuls of Sydney. So what I'm going to ask it that how can I or what are the trails from this Penrith city on the very right hand side all the way to this Mount Toma within Blue Mountains. So let's go back to our fireworks.ai. I already have uploaded this image and I'm asking the same question. Let me put it here let's see if it is able to do that there you go it says starts at Penrith station and take the train towards central on the blue mountains line get off at bell station from bell station take the bus okay let's see it says okay so i am talking about trails i am talking about trails i want to walk from Penrith to Mount Toma. Suggest me a safe trail. Let's see. There you go. Yes, that is that was the trail which I was hoping that it would give me. Okay. In the image. 
do you suggest any other good spot to see wildlife let's see yep so you see it has detected that it was blue mountains and it is telling me all the stuff from there now i am more than sure that it is not just relying on that image it is also checking its own um, repository so let me try to make it more grounded with images okay let's see which cities are or maybe i'll just say which larger towns are mentioned in the image let's see yep that's correct you see all the stuff which have been mentioned uh, these are all the larger towns which are mentioned in this image that is good so and then if you go up and or i will show you the image you see there is also uh, something called as uh, genuine caves so let's try to ask that uh, uh is there any caves mentioned on the image let's see yes you see the genuine caves are located near heart level which is marked on the map great stuff so really amazing i think uh, lives up to its name makes few mistakes but i think you have to be quite careful with your prompting and that is the case with vision models all in all that you have to make sure that your prompt is right so that um, the vision models won't hallucinate much so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching